Hey, welcome back everybody to my Good, Bad, Ugly series, and today we're picking up a brand new game, Planets of the Apes. I am will be doing a full playthrough of Good, Bad, Ugly. Definitely um, stay tuned for that if you want to see that, as well as be trying to unlock any special scenes or uh, ripple events. Uh, and in case you're uh, new to the channel, one of my other part of the Good, Bad, Ugly series is my ripple... I guess ripple slash butterfly effect series where I trace the different butterfly and ripple effects throughout the choice based games and show you um, what happened, how to unlock them and the ramifications for those decisions. All right, but let's get started with our good choices first though. Once, we were part of Great Caesar's tribe, but then soldiers came. Many apes died, and we fled. Led by father, we crossed rivers and mountains, walked for many moons, until we found this mountain, this home, our sanctuary. Somewhere, could live in peace. But now winter is coming. And there is no more food here. Apes are starving. We must find food somewhere soon.
Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yes, brother. Think before you speak. Tom Ross. He was a good leader of this town, a fair leader. <laughs> Some of us didn't always agree with him, but when things got bad, he led us all. Now his wife, Jess, has agreed to carry his work on. Let us hope God is with her, and us. Laid low by illness, but a fighter till the end. Rest easy, friend. You okay? Yeah. Tom would outlive all of us. Difficult days ahead. For you and for all of us. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Maria. Jess. This loss. It's not just yours. No. I know. People like Tom. He was a strong leader. It's what Millerton needed. It's what this town needs now. Winter is coming. Someone's gonna have to make some tough decisions. You really think that's you? The town asked me to take over, Rainy. I got this. Yeah, I guess we'll find that out. Do you really know what we got in store for winter? Whether we're prepared or not? To talk to my son. Mark. Please stop. You're giving me orders? Now you're in charge? I didn't ask for this job. You're dead too. I still can't believe you're running this place now. You're not the only one. Come on. It's enough now.
My sons. Tola. Bren. Juno. The first snow has fallen. The tribe is hungry. Scared. We must show them we are strong. Tola. You will lead the hunt tonight. And take Bryn. And Juno. Tribe see brothers strong together. Yes, father. I will follow Tola. Like humans, we can kill too. Enough! You will do as I say. Hunt together. Bring food for tribe. And get a staff? Juno is no good for this. What is Juno good for? Sons will hunt together. Yes, you can see, huh? It's not enough. You're right, it's not. It's a big problem. So what are we gonna do? Ha! Huh. That is a big question. I wish I had a good goddamn answer. What do you think? No easy answers. And are you gonna tell people what the hell we're facing? No. I keep this quiet for now. Yeah, I agree. People here have gone through a lot, Jess. You're their leader. Better watch how you lead. Jess, come take a look. Riders, two of them.
This doesn't look good. You in a hurry to start a fight? I guess you can see my friend here is hurt bad. And who do I have the pleasure of addressing? Jess Ross. I'm in charge here. And you are? Well, I'm Jacob Willett. And my wounded friend here, that's Oswald Reeves. Yeah. Hunting accident. Kind of hurts. <coughs> what did you have in mind, Mr. Willits? Well, I'd like to tend to my friend's wounds. Get a roof over our heads a few nights, some water feed for our horses. Maybe do some work for you in exchange? What are you doing out here? We're just drifters, Miss Ross, trying to stay alive. We don't get many strangers. What the hell brought you to Millerton? Uh, things got bad out there, you know? Hunger, disease, and dying. There's a lot of scared people. People who want what somebody else has. And we're a lot better off <clears throat> on our own. What do you say, Jess? I don't like the looks of these guys. And we haven't got food to spare. Wait a minute. That man's hurt. And you want us to turn our backs on them. She's right. We can't just turn them away. That is a damn mistake. Come on in! Nice and slow. One night, and we'll have to quarantine you. Sweet home. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna go to end part one. Alright guys, I'm gonna go to end part one right here. Um definitely get part two of as quick as possible since I'm off today. Thank you, yay. But uh, I'll see you guys in part two. Bye.